Reese Ipsa Liquider, guys. Oh, holy night. Wishing you peace and joy with love from Joe Kersey and Paul Bennett. Well, this this is uh, <clears throat> this is the first time ever we were talking about this. Yeah. By the way, this is Saturday, December thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. At 1700 in the afternoon in Eastern Time. Now, you know, uh, this is still Advent, guys. This isn't Christmas. We don't need to be talking about Christmas, but yet there does seem to be a great deal of internet demand to, <laughs> to talk about Christmas. So I guess we're going to talk about Christmas. <clears throat> now, now this is the first time we've sent out Christmas cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is just, this is just drugs to keep me alive. As far as I can remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever did. Uh... Well, the cards, the card I just showed you cost 39 cents. I'm going to tell you, if it costs anything more than that, these cards would not be going out. <laughs> <laughs> I have two international mailings, and that's fine because I like these guys very much. So, I don't mind the posting. In fact, in fact, this... The one fella, the one fella beat me to it here. I'll show you here. <laughs> England's in first. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. To <clears throat> Tony Pinchin got in first, and uh, very nice card, and. Uh, very, very nice new, and uh, Godet, Godet, Christus S. Natus, Ex Maria Virginia Godet, which, much to my shame, I had to look up what Godet meant. Of course, it means rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is born out of Maria the Virgin or from Maria the Virgin. Mary the Virgin, rejoice. And then he quotes Isaiah 9, 6 to 7, and uh, which is this great, you know, the great thing that you hear sung in uh, uh, Handel's Messiah, you know, for unto us a child was born, for unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. We have, you know, the the couple of times it's fallen to me to read this, it just you you just want to sing it. Of course, we can't use the authorized version here in the U.S. Church. We have to use the NRSV. Well, you know, you know, try reading Luke two in the NRSV. Well, that's just that's just an abomination. That's almost a crime against humanity. Maybe it's not as bad as having some of these guys saw your heads off over there, you know, in ISIS land. But. Well, anyway, it was a very nice card. And, uh, Tony, I thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, given the vagaries of the U.S. and International Postal Service and what remains of the, I guess, the Royal Mail, which is now sort of like private Royal Mail, you will be getting <laughs> that in a few days. I'll, I'll mail that tomorrow on the way to church. Yeah, we're going to beat the rush. That's <laughs> appropriate. <clears throat> now, now we, were gonna, we were just sitting down to watch Tony's video again. I'd watched it earlier. That's where he was, had decorated his house. Now, he take, 
he he takes and took such a joy in this, and that's that's wonderful. I mean, it's always wonderful to see somebody you know living in joy. It really is. And uh, now we when did we get that artificial tree? Oh fuck. Well, we first never did. No, we never, we never did, we never did the salt. The first Christmas after yeah. we moved in, but we, we moved in around New Year's. Well, we moved in January fourth of nineteen eighty two. It was seven. Was it seventeen below? It wasn't seventeen below. It was. It was four below on the fourth of January. Well, the day we come up here was stop. Well, well, that was the no same day. Or well, no, it was, it was a movie showed up. There was almost two feet of snow. No, 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 no. We're getting some tales from the apocryphal, but you know, but after they had moved all the stuff into the back garage, garage door, <laughs> Paul and I got down on the carpet and fucked. We did that when the papers were signed. We did that too. You finally got out of here. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Memories. Memories. Da, 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 da. The, only, the only good song that came out of that god-awful musical. But it was a good song. You know, did they have to dress up like cats? <laughs> Maybe they should have dressed up like that barflies. Was the title they, of the show. I know, but they could have, they could have dressed up <laughs> like barflies and called it barflies. Well, then they would have dressed up as barflies. Well, I mean, you know, far more believable than you know all this pretentious cat sitting on tires in a barn or a, or a dump. A dump. Junkyard. Sure made Andrew Lloyd Rip Weber a very rich man, didn't he? Yep. <laughs> inter, inter alia. Not to mention a couple of stage actors. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a good, it was a, ran forever. It was a good song. I mean, that was a, a, you know, the one. It was like that, there was one good song in Phantom. Well, like well I don't know. Well, I mean, we don't need to. We don't need to agonize ourselves over that. But Phantom of the Opera. Well, that was yes, that was the name of the show. But there was there was one good song in it. Well, you know, <laughs> it's interesting that unlike Rodgers and Hammerstein's musicals, and I, listen, I'm not I'm not some sort of musical you know gay musical queen here. But you know. Good song is a good song, and a good show is a good show, and uh, you know. But Rodgers and Hammerstein's musicals or Hammerstein's—I can never figure out how to yeah. say it. Uh, you know, they Joe had several good songs. You know, right. what I mean, you know, I mean, really good they song, did. very single, very singable <laughs> song. Yeah. Well, then you had this, what was this Argentina, this Avita thing, you know, I mean, again, that was a one-song musical, this Avita. Right. Yeah, you know, Don't Cry yeah. For Me, Argentina. Yeah. You know, celebrating some sort of, you know, wife of a would-be dictator, who then, you know, sort of had her little turn at power. Well, we all know what's happened to that country now, which is a shame because that's a, that that has the potential to be a great country. You know, beautiful, you know, magnificent geography, natural resources, people. And they've got this god awful political system, you know, and you know, they, see, once you start playing around with the currency, <laughs> you are screwed. Oh, wait a minute. What's our Federal Reserve doing? 
Not a damn thing. No, it's playing around our currency. <laughs> oh, I, know, I love it. You know, oil prices are going down, which you would think would be great, but now the stock market's dropping, and oh, what are we going to do? Oh, asset prices are dropping. Oh, it's going to be deflation. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. It's not that far down. It's only like 260 something. Well, that's gasoline. I'm talking about, you know, you know, oh, the commodity, oh. the commodity price. It's down. It's down like 45 percent from what it was here a few months back. Oh, okay. We're talking about the barrel. Yeah. All right. Don't poke the barrel. <coughs> It'll leak. <laughs> and I don't know how they can count you know, say by the barrel. I mean, it comes through a gallons. big freaking pipeline. Well, it's fixed up gallons. The barrel's fixed up gallons. Yeah. yeah. But they don't put it in barrels. They run well, through a pipeline yeah, where they wanted it to go. Actually, sometimes they used to. You know, originally they used to. Yeah. Yeah, that's since. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, they sell grain by bushels, you know. You speak, you know, I, do you remember seeing bushel baskets, don't you, growing up? Yeah, well, I did too. I don't think. I don't think anybody. I, never I don't think any, I don't think anybody took their grain down to the elevator and bushel basket. We you know when I was growing up, but you bought the shit in bushel basket. Well, not the grain. No, like beans. Oh well, if you well, if, well, if you're going to like a like a like one of these markets or something, yeah. Now, if you're buying a bushel of beans from a market, you're you're playing in a serious bean dip. No, or doing a serious stock up on shit. <laughs> you know, cook it and freeze it. Oh, oh, if you want to, oh, sure, if you want to sort of plan ahead. Yeah. That's what that oh, giant sure. white thing yeah. over in the house is for. What am I doing? Oh, I can never, I can never, oh, what am I doing? No. Oh. It's always the opposite. I know. Uh, you know, I'm a bad YouTuber. I don't know how to do my hair. Got to brush your hair. Though. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> see, Paul. See, Paul's a good YouTuber. He knows how to do hair. It's backwards. Well, as you know, as our nephew says, you no, know, left is right, right is left, up is down, up, down is up. Yeah. I got more crap on my eyes. Oh well, glasses. Well, I got crap in my eyes too, but. I can't do anything about that. That's going to have to slime on. <laughs> so what 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 news from the hotel today? Oh, gee. Okay. We had all the uh, smoke detectors on the first floor. Taped off, you know, taped over and covered up. Oh, so they wouldn't go off? Because of the dust, because that happened when they yeah. started jackhammering on the floor. Oh, I, I was going to go into a little disquisition about you know the two types of smoke detectors, but I'll shut up because I want to hear what Paul has said. Well, I didn't notice, but they took it off. Who's they? The guy, the construction guys. The guy. They took the tape off of all the smoke detectors on the first floor. In the hallways. <clears throat> all right. All this shit's gone. It's untaped. Well, then, for some reason, they're taking a big mason saw and cutting a big crack through the middle of the dining room floor. In like two different places. It's all this dust and shit and sh whatever flying in the air and doink. Off went all the alarms, all the freaking fire doors. Well, they, didn't, they didn't, didn't turn on the sprinklers, did it? 
And then they go, oh. <laughs> Cancer's like, um, one that'll pick up, certain ones will pick up a heat sensor. So like, if there is a fire, then that would set off. Oh, they go by, oh, the, uh, the, the heat, and the, then that's the heat thing one, that, uh, and then there's a, would be a different one that would just pick up, like, smoke and stuff, and set it off. So, <laughs> anyway, everything's set off, and place filled with nothing, the first floor was nothing but a big giant cloud. I mean, those guys didn't even quit. They went outside and got some fresh air. I bet they were smoking they, when they went outside. They, they, they propped open all the doors, yeah. locked open the front. Yeah, I'm so overwhelmed by dust, I'm going to have a smoke. I mean, again, there's no heat on the first floor. Well, a lot of you got the They've damn... Got the whole freaking building. Well, over. it's like when we had the dogs, you know, like particularly when we were taking care of Liz and Henry's dogs. Um, <laughs> you know, know, yeah, we had what? You know, well, two, R three, and five. Well, it was like it was like November. It was like the last week of November, and it was it was like twenty three degrees, and and these these two. Uh, very, very rambunctious uh, golden retrievers. Uh, God, I mean, we all got along very well, and they got along with our dogs very well. But they, they really insisted on being able to go zoom, zoom, zoom in and out, 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 in and out of houses. And I got centered ours. And and <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when they were play, you know, because they had playmates, and and so I, we just. Just got so we'd leave the dang gun back. Yeah, the freaking door. Back door open on 20, 20, 23, 23. It's not a French door, it's just a door. 20, 23 degrees, you know, the last week of November. <laughs> um, put up a. Um, well, we put up a little thing because. A play pin gate thing. Yeah, because they. Yeah. Yeah. God, they wanted to tear through the house. Yeah, they wanted to, the the other dogs wanted to be a little bit more rambunctious than our dogs were. And that puzzled that puzzled our dogs. I mean, that puzzled uh, our three. Uh, yeah, because oh, because they weren't oh, allowed. And they weren't allowed to do that, and so they were surprised that we were taught. And so we we just put the thing up, and then, then if ours wanted to go out, we just. Lifted up and they went out. <laughs> it was only for like two, three days. Oh yeah, no, it was. It was uh, you know, Liz and Henry taking a Thanksgiving trip, and we were taking care of their dogs. So, and that was, of course, Bailey and Madison. Yeah. Now Henry really, really liked Bailey. Well, I like both these dogs, right? But no, Henry really liked Madison. I, I like, I like. Most easy. But you know, the dog I really, really like. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was well, I like Henry Madison used, too. But. Henry used to take on the road with him. Well, 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 that was, the, well, that was Madison. To the office. No, he took Madison with him. You know, after <laughs> Bailey died, he took Madison around with him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, these were sweet, sweet, good dogs. And, uh, and they each had a very distinctive personality. Yeah. yeah. I like the one day, um... <laughs> golden Retrievers, I'll tell you, Golden Retrievers were sly. Henry, I don't know why. I, I, I far prefer Labradors. I'm sorry. He had, uh, keys on a, um, I don't know, um... Key ring? No. Oh, I'm sorry. One of those I had to say that. Like a lifeguard would wear around their neck with the whistle on it. No, not your cross. Oh, okay. Anyway. It's here. It reminds Henry me. Henry was out working around in the yard and stuff. And no, he no, hung... I'm sorry. He hung the keys on one of the dog's neck. 
Oh, that's right. No, we did. And they no, come he, swimming up oh, no, the no, street he, to he, here. He put the house keys on the dog's neck, didn't he? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dog's coming the dog, swimming well, up. Well the, well, the one dog ran off with the keys. <laughs> and and it was it was I can't remember who it was but it had the blue collar on. They both yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, both yeah. showed up here and one of them had the keys on its neck. I think only one showed up. I think the other one went back, but yeah, yeah, and had the keys on the neck. <laughs> the yeah, keys. The, the house, the house we keys. Put them in the truck and drove them home. How's I had the house keys on? Well, it wasn't a, it wasn't a long drive. They're right across the road, guys. <laughs> 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 but that was enough to confuse them so they didn't know, you know, like, oh, well, we didn't chase back in that you know, truck and, and we, get right back where we were. And I'd go over, you know, when they would travel, I'd go over and I'd, you know, walk them and let them out and spend time with them, you know, and, and play with <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, so would I. Well, yeah, we both did. I mean, you know, that's what we did. You know, we're neighbors. That's what we do for, you know, neighbors do that for each other. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> But uh, Bailey, it's interesting. Madison, although she was very sly in other areas, she she never really tried. But Bailey, on the other hand, always tried to sort of run off on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bailey would go yeah. just hide. Yeah, and yeah, she'd go hide. Run around, yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, wrong. yeah. Where she, the hell are you? Yeah, she'd go. <laughs> she'd go. She would. Say, it's, it's, they have very different different personalities. And it's always it was such fun to. To do that, and uh, I enjoyed being able to do that. And I enjoyed having them over here to stay. I really enjoyed when they came over to stay for two or three days because, uh, <laughs> well, it was like you know when Thomas uh, used to bring up Daisy, yeah, their dog, you know Thomas and Kelly, and um, what's your name? What? The other one. What? The other dog. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Hootie. Right. Yeah, the Hootie dog. Well, Hootie died. Yeah. Yeah, Hootie died. Yeah, no, but Hootie stayed here a couple times, didn't she? Yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah, she's a sweet, sweet dog. I always, I always loved sort of dog sitting. Well, when I got done traveling, I got I got I got to get my passport renewed though. I I don't have a current passport. Karen, friend of Tom Kelly. I do have to get. A she passport. had a German Shepherd. She would take the dog for a walk, but she used the dog's tail instead of putting the dog on a leash. Yeah, well, that <laughs> that that woman has some severe. Well, she has some severe. Well, issues, as they like to say. No, no, her dog. Well, I think her dog's dead now. That bigger dog's dead. Too. Well, they die, don't they? And see, and that's see, that's yeah. that's the thing. Dogs die. Well, people die. Dogs die. Yeah, or she and Kelly went to school, and they lived uh, in the same neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. So, anything else at the hotel? No, just that. So, all the alarms went going off and stuff, and everybody started running around with ladders and masking tape and stuff, and taping off the damn smoke alarms again. Oh, so that, oh, again. And, and opening all the doors and letting the wind blow through the building to get the crap out of there. So then the doors are able to reset. Reset and stuff, and you could lock them open again. Oh, no, 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 no. I just wondered if you bet anything more to add. Yeah. Well, then I'll sign off on our with our Christmas card here. I really feel like I'm jumping the gun here, but oh, holy night. This was. This was this was from Vista Print by the guy. Well, you got Vista Print, and it was the only. It was the only sort of paradigm they had that had, in the slightest way, any hint of Christian motif. 
Isn't that the one that did the business card? Yes, and that's the one that did my business card. Folks, okay. yeah, I'm fine, but you know, I didn't I didn't do my business card at Chris Motif. I did that. It's like a YouTube channel motif. So so Merry Christmas guys and uh, or Happy Christmas depending on uh, what part of the world you're from and uh, jumping the gun here a bit but here we are <laughs> it's middle month it's, it is it's St. Lucy's <laughs> Day it's St. Lucy's Day December 13th now, I have no idea what happened to St. Lucy. I suppose something god-awful horrible. Yeah. But I suppose I could Google it. Well, Google it, guys. Find out what happened to St. Lucy. <laughs> it, probably, it probably won the good story there. But it couldn't be any worse than what's happening over there in the Middle East right now. The Near East, you know, with all the ISIS Choppings and songs and things. So, on that one, I'm going to say bye bye, YouTube. Are they in Afghanistan? What? ISIS? The ISIS guys. No, no. Well, I don't, not yet. Oh. I imagine they'd like to be. I just suddenly forgot where they're at. No, oh, they're in Syria and Iraq. Oh. Merry Christmas, guys. I Good got, night. I want to kiss your head. Come here, I want to kiss your head. See, I got to kiss his head. See, I can't even. I'm going to kiss your head again. I got you. I'm going to kiss your head again. I got you correct. I can't get me. Did we get it that time? <laughs> no, I was doing hair thing. There, I know. I know I got you that time. That's how part of one side of my head, I think. I think it's a, yeah. Left. I get left to right. Well, I do too. And you know, you know it's very interesting. Uh, the reason I did that, uh, left to right. No, right, no, right to left. Well, you do yours opposite to mine, don't you? <laughs> oh, I go. You go, yeah, you go right to left. I go right to left. The reason I did that was, <clears throat> and I got to tell you this story. Paul, would you be kind enough to crack me a brew? <laughs> I'm going to crack myself one. Too. That's always good. Well, <laughs> uh, without, without dragging us out too terribly long, well, now just we may as well just do this here. Here, I'll crack my own brew. I'll hand you a bird. Or here's the key. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Oh, I didn't poke your hand, did I? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I was a boy, <laughs> well, no, actually, when I was a very horny young teenager, Uh, I was in uh, marching band, and I was in the drum corps. Well, the drum corps in any marching band, you know, tends to be a bit, how should we say, quasi-independent. He <laughs> pin my ass out of control. <laughs> Well, they're yeah. their own thing. Yeah, they really, they really can do and do do that. And um, there was a fellow in the drum corps, you know, whose name, who I won't use his real name. We'll call him Doug. Yeah, we'll call him Doug. We'll call, <laughs> we'll call him Doug. He's yeah, he, the farthest thing from a Doug in the world. We'll call him Doug. And um, now, this was when I was fooling around with one of them, was my best friend. No, fooling around with my best friend when I was a sophomore. And uh, I, 
I this Doug first of all he sort of was defying convention by walking around without socks. See that was a big deal. This is a, see that was a big deal in nineteen sixty seven. Yeah, if 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 you walked around in school without socks on, Lord knows what's a big deal now. You, <laughs> it's, you know, you know, you know, walking around, you know, you know, it's a big Nobody deal. Nobody wears socks now. Pardon? I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't see anybody. Well, I don't know about that, but I was thinking, you know, what would constitute a big deal now? You know, not, not, not walking around with syringes hanging out of your arms. What? Yeah, I mean. Uh, So, uh, but, but Doug had these wonderfully hairy ankles, and I found that just a tremendous turn on, as I do to this day. Oh wait a minute! You know, Paul's embarrassed. You know, I'm embarrassing Paul. Oh wait a minute. You were talking about an older guild <laughs> one day. Was it an older guild? No, God, they had nothing but freaking hairy legs and just running around like the candles and stuff. Oh, that was. Oh, that and was. It was wearing shorts. Oh, that was. Oh, well, that was. That was. That was the. That was some guy in the summertime. You know, when we were being very informal. Right, no, well, that's, that whole family's like, well, except for mother. <laughs> now, wait, what, don't distract me from my, my line of narrative. Okay, we're talking line. about Doug in the drama court. Oh, right. Him and well, high school oh, band. right, right. So, so, uh, one day. One day we were out rehearsing, you know, the band went out in the football field and we were rehearsing, it was marching band. And, uh, and it started to rain. No, not hard, but rain. It started to rain. And uh, I, I didn't have a jacket on. No, Doug. I love that. That's a great name. Actually, he could be he could be considered a duck. He uh, he did have a jacket on, and uh, but he but it turns out he also had a spare one in his car, which was which was a nineteen sixty five Mustang. Now I'm not I'm not a car whore. I'm not. I, mean, I don't give a I don't, Phoenicia. Well, no, I mean, I don't give a. You know, I listen. If, if I am not turned on sexually by what a guy drives, I mean, turned on sexually by the guy or not, but not by what he drives. But but what I am turned on by is uh, smells and bells. Smells and bells. Well, smell, smells and bells. Well, smells <laughs> smells and Feeling close to something, somebody I'm turned on by his head on his bod, and so he, uh, he, he says, "Would you like, like to wear my jacket?" Well, that's one of the most erotic statements that's ever been made to me. Would you like to wear my jacket? That was fair. Would you like to wear my jacket? It's in it's in the back seat of my car. Just go get it and put it on. And you know what happens in back seats of cars? Well, nothing happened there <laughs> except me getting his jacket out and putting it on to keep 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 out of the rain. But um, now it turned out turned out that the next year. Um, this guy was involved in Explorer Scouts, and uh, 
he, he, he invited me to join their post. And uh, that's another that's another longer tale, which I won't get into today. But uh, suffice to say, there was some not, nothing happened. I, oh, God bless us! Nothing happened. Oh, how I wish something had happened, but nothing happened. But there was a lot of really close yearning contact. Urinating contest. Your your yur, yearning contest. Oh, yearning. Yearning. What do you think I said? I thought you said urinating. Oh no no no. <laughs> well, I mean, we go out, we get up in the morning and take a leave, but you know, we can look at each other. You know, it's always kind of nice to stand next to each other and take a leave when you're camping out. That's very manly. You know, sort of bumping each other. Like, I'm so I'm sorry. Did I, you had spilled no. okay. I'm sorry. You know, but you know, when you, you're sort of, you know, like, hey, wow, well, that's yeah, teenage guys, you know. It's fun. Paul looks, Paul looks, Paul looks so beset. Do you, are you feeling beset? <laughs> well, I hope not. It's Christmas season. Well, it's Advent season, but it seems it's it seems now on the internet that it's Christmas season. Um, Hanukkah starts soon. <laughs> I think it's already going. Well, I thought it was the next one. I don't know. I I don't keep track of that. You know, I mean, God bless our Jewish friends. Well, not really. You know. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, da, 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 da. you know, there's a song. Da, 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 da. Well, anyway. <laughs> I hope the Arabs don't launch too many missiles into Israel on this one. Well, I mean, they do that sometimes, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's just the fact of the matter. And the Israelis and all them. These folks. Oh, we don't have those. These, 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 <laughs> these folks have been fighting each other for well over 2,500, 3,000 years. You know, and I really seriously don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I don't either. I, 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 I think on some level they kind of enjoy it. I do too. It's like they love being angry at each other. Well, it's like it's like my mother, like, oh, 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 I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran upon a great quote from my mother the other day. No, no, to this very mo this very morning when I was looking for addresses for the Paul, reach over there and show, bring, bring a whole, bring over that package of shit. I'm sorry, a package of. This is the morning mail. No, 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 no. This tomorrow. Oh, no, this, this is, this is. Uh, we have. Well, I'm not going to show you the addresses, obviously, but, but I, you know, I. These are the these are the, the said Christmas cards. Now, when I was looking for addresses, because most of my time was spent looking for addresses to be sure I was getting the right addresses. Uh, I ran across a, a a note that I had taken. You know. When I was on a, on the phone with my mother in 1992, uh, or maybe just talking to my mother in 1992 when I was down there when she was bringing you know, uh, before I took her back up to my sister's, and the and the quote was, <clears throat> "Don't ever let." Any of my friends in this town know what you are. I could never live here again. Here, let's 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 reprise that. November nineteen ninety-two. Don't ever let any of my friends in this town know what you are. I could never live here again.
Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Woman's dead. God bless her. She was a very angry, 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 angry individual. That's too bad. Because she could have been a lot of fun. Well, there it is. Anything else, Paul? No. Well, we've hit one gigabytes in 40 minutes. So, there we are. So, bye-bye, YouTubers. <laughs>